Back. I have to say this is probably the coolest live gig that I've ever done. Mm. Like, yeah. Oh, no. right. like, 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 we've done, we've done, we've done venues bigger than this, but it's never been as fucking like to look at this like because this is this is where I feel at home. Like, out on the streets here, like this, this is where I feel comfortable. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Fucking beautiful guys. Like, That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Please, please, darling, as well. Please be careful. Yeah. <laughs> please be careful. There's so please many be. people probably. Mm. Part two. We're taking it to drop D, and any musicians out there knows what that means. Come on. <sighs> okay. It's that time, is it? Oh, it's nine o'clock now. Yeah, so a couple of weeks ago I put out the final part of the trilogy called Violet's Tale. And as, as, a, as a three piece, it's one of my like proudest works to date. So it feels like an honor to be able to share this whole story with you guys tonight. So thank you. He's, 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 he's telling some sad thank stories you, you. Honestly, on these honestly, songs. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, it, it, means, it means so much to me. At the end, I'm going to play two, two final songs for you. Okay. At the end, we'll be... Uh, there's a little car over there where we've got prints and we've got CDs. I, I put this on for free, but if you guys want to support me carrying on to do this, you can pick up a CD, you can pick up a print if you want. They'll be, they'll be for sale in the end of the car. What's but a print? Chatting to you all. Uh, but I'll be hanging out for about half an hour afterwards and we can just do whatever. I'll probably go out to Brighton tonight. We'll see what happens. If you guys are sticking around Brighton, let's have some fucking fun. Oh, you know they're staying. <laughs> they're not going nowhere. <laughs> Damn. There's a song called London Sippy. Uh-oh. London City, far from pretty, mm. such a pity, such a shame. Ooh. An office up at six foot three left shaken oh. by the Damn, door. okay. So he's picking right back up. Yeah, he's done that on all of them so far. So he did the tale of Jenny and Screech. Then he did the, uh, what was it just called Screech's Tale or whatever. So that was him after he killed Jenny. And now he's been killed. So now he's talking about the cop. That's crazy. He's keeping it in order, all right. Flashing lights and prying eyes of London frame our boy's demise. Mm. Lady Karma span her web quite quickly as poor Jenny died. On Go this night, on holy night, a bitter twist awoke from sleep. Mm. The threads of fate had weaved their way between poor Jenny and young Screech. Ooh. London City, far from pretty, devils live inside details. To yep, so he's saying there's something evil going around, I think. Not literally, but, you know, the evil of people that they can that they can create in their own minds and the evil that comes out sometimes in people. Right, London City, far from pretty, devils live inside details. To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. Mm. Uh-oh. Now who's Violet? That's not the cop, obviously. That's a girl. It's about to be crazy. It's gonna be another. It's gonna be another fun song, right? Another upbeat song? No, I doubt it. <laughs> mm. Ooh. That sounds familiar too. I don't know. Maybe not. Some of these sound very familiar to me. I don't know how people do that. It's crazy. He's going crazy. Mm. Uh-oh. He had to put something down. I swear this sounds familiar. And I know I've never heard it.
wait a second, I want to shut that rattle off because it's fucking eating me up inside. <laughs> <laughs> Has it fixed it? Can I, can I do that again? No, oh, Lord. They got problems with the sound. Would you let me? They don't care. They don't care. They're gonna let him do it. Alright, I'll skip that in. <laughs> Sounds the same to me. But hey, he's an artist. He wants perfection, you know. A lady oh, down sad. in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Mm. Rhythmic beeps, bloodstained sheets. Our wait lady weeps. She's tired and frail. Damn, set. so she's on the, she's on the, um, she's on her deathbed. It sounds like old woman, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> see, we must rewind the hands of time. So, okay. Oh, maybe that's violent. Okay. Look at all the people. Damn. That's a tight area, too. Uh-oh. That's a completely different sound now. Oh, I like that. Oh, Lord. Come on, man. What is this shit? What are these sick-ass commercials? Those things are so crazy. was a silent girl, grew up with violent stars. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he talk a tie but never left the room. Oh, Lord. The thing I knew, yep, I knew that's what it was going to be. As soon as he said her father was a bastard, oh, I had a feeling it was going to be about that type of shit. Oh, my God. And tucked her tight and never left the room. So, he, yep, he's about to say what comes next. Drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he talk a tie, oh, but Lord. never left the room. I'll spare you of the things he did. I'm sure her mother knew. No, oh, Lord. Violet was a silent girl. She moved out at 16. Yeah. Her mother's just as bad as the father then. Get rid of both of them. Yep, because she's just as bad. She knew what was going on, did nothing. That's just as bad, as far as I'm concerned. Shit. All right, let's go. The touch council flat paid for by a welfare scheme. Mm. Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickle bricks. She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick. Mm. Violet was a silent girl and Violet, she fell fast. See, Stevie was the wrong and but he sure knew how to charm her. Mm. Every night he took a tie but never left her. Another room. one. History repeats itself. He paint her black and blue. Damn! What the hell? So now he's telling the tale of Violet as a as a kid, and then as a teenager. I think he said she was sixteen. So he didn't say how old Stevie was, but I'm guessing he's too old to be messing with her. So he's not her age, obviously, it sounds like. He's just using her. So another sick ass fool, just like her father. Damn, and he started the song, though, with what it sounded like she was on her deathbed, so maybe in an old age, maybe not. Maybe something happens to her, so let's see. All right, uh, come on. There you go. She never stood a child. Nope. The devil comes to die. What did he say, tonight or to dance? Violet, why are you always so quiet? Mm. On the bedroom door in his eye. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late And he stands by your bedside, she shakes But her eyes stay shut, you fucking slut I know you're up And he pinches her eyelids and holds them up Oh, Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent mm. That's the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing yeah, I, was, like I was gonna say, that's a very distinct sound there he just did That didn't sound like anything else that he's done so far with that guitar I didn't know what he was going for there, but once he said it, I, yeah, that fit. That's it. That sounds like fist raining down. Oh, my God. What the? F He's telling some crazy, crazy stories. This is the worst one for sure. This is, a, this is the most terrible story he's told tonight on all these songs. 
the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing pile. Yeah. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, uh. blood splat, bone crack, thick nap, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the two spat, detached fist connect, disconnects the bone, a quick deflect to misdirect the blow, uh. but nonetheless his punches met her throat. And he's talking about a whole boxing scheme now, the misdirect, the blow, everything, yeah, of course it's, a, it's not boxing, it's some piece of shit. Hitting a hitting a defenseless girl, teenager, but I mean, yeah, he's sticking with the punches punches scheme and the boxing scheme, kind of. Disconnects the bone, a quick deflect to misdirect the blow. Quick, misdirect the blow, yeah. Her throat. Such uh. a mess, he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why you're such a little liar, Violet? Why you always so quiet, Violet? Damn, you... look at his eyes there. He looks like a demon. That's what the dude would look like. Yeah. Think I wanna do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Mm. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. All right. Hopefully, she gets up and kills him somehow. Wait. Say something, Violet. Oh, she's dead. Not one word. No. Nope. She stays quiet. <laughs> London City, far from pretty, mm. 2005. A lady rushed to Paddington, is okay. fighting just to stay alive. Yeah. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. See, mm. Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, she was nine months gone. Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried. Oh. If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive. Okay. The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in. As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim mm. in Brighton City, far from pretty. Two, zero, zero, five, a lady down in Paddington. Just lost the fight to stay mm. alive. So she died. Tragedy or a miracle. Mm. It happened on these very streets. Two twins aligned side by side. Oh, Lord, she had twins? Mm. A girl named Jenny and a boy named Screech. It's kind of all back in now. Thank you. That's crazy. Mm. That's insane. Guys, there's, 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 there's normally a thing you do in these shows where everyone pretends like they've never done it before and you do an encore and people come back and then they do a song and everyone's like, oh my God, they actually came back. What are the chances when it happens every fucking time? I'm just saying, I, I, want, I want to keep this as the tales. I, like, I, I will be putting on shows where I do a lot more songs. But I just wanted to keep this as the, the this trilogy of songs that I've written. If you can honor that, that's wicked. I will be hanging around yeah. it and we can stay. Hey, he told a whole story. He, yeah, he told a whole story. Uh, he told um, tail of Jenny and Screech. Screech killed Jenny. Then Screech uh, dealt with the cops. He tried to get, he tried to go to his friend's house. He wasn't there. Turned around. He got killed by a cop. Then the cop... Um, I can't remember now what the cop did exactly, what he said about him, but that's complete. This this thing, this thing completely had my focus. This song here, Violet's Tale. So yeah, we heard about her tragic life from pretty much day one, from being a kid, being a teenager, and she never made it past that. That's where she died and gave birth to twins so he might he probably does something at some point following up that maybe we'll see later on but i guess that's probably gonna be it but yeah we'll let him talk here that's crazy Let's have a wicked night i know it's been a short performance but hopefully the quality of it has made it yeah. worthwhile yeah. Thank, you, thank, you, thank, you, thank you yes 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 and, and like i say we'll be over I think we'll be over the back there near that car well, there'll be CDs of the tales if you want it. There'll be prints that I'll be signing. If you want to help support my music, oh, you can pick one up. It. If not, it's supporting my music just enough. You being here, so don't feel bad. Just thank you for coming here and making this one of the best nights of my life. Let's mm. go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, you can tell he's a 
He, he's a real dude. That's Preston sure. Connor, can I get somebody here? There's a lot of equipment here just packing up, putting it safely away while I head over to the car. Just if somebody can get that sorted, that would be absolutely wicked, man. Yeah, cool. No, one person's leaving. Look at that. Yeah. They all love this guy to death, man. That's crazy. He's got a dedicated fan base. That's probably, we can probably cut it there, but I'll just let it play. We got like another minute. Dude, tell me that's not Tommy Shelby <laughs> from Peaky Blinders. That's him. Just a younger age. Oh my God, is that it? Okay. I thought we had a while left. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it. Tale of Jenny and Screech. He did like, what, four songs total, I think? Uh, so part one and part two. This is part two. So thank you for watching. Yes, I really enjoyed that one. So, hey, you guys have been dropping the comments like crazy to let me know Ren songs to um, react to. And I'll get to them, of course. So, somebody left me a thing <laughs> that's going to keep me busy for like... 20, 30 years or so. They left me pretty... I, it's got to be like every damn song Ren's ever made. Good Lord. He dropped a whole thing in there in the comment section. I don't know. It, it probably He probably had to stop typing because it filled up the... It, he couldn't type any more letters or something. I don't know. I can't remember your name, but anyway, you know who you are. Actually, a few people have done stuff like that. A few people have sent me a long, a huge list of requests for, for Ren songs to do and somewhat in the order that I need to cover them. So I'm going to try to kind of stick to that as much as I can. But yeah, hey, hey, I love it. I appreciate it. Keep sending the request in. Keep commenting, of course. So you guys are dedicated to this, to this, to this uh, artist here, and he's he's a genius. That's all I can say. He's he's a genius. He is different from everything, everybody I've ever heard before in my life. So yeah, I like. I, I really enjoyed this one. This was crazy. That that one was a terrible story at the end, but he put it into a song, and you know, it the lyrics, the beat, I mean, obviously fit perfect. But um, as all the rest of them did. But yeah, that was a that was a terrible, terrible story. That could be based on a true story if it's not based on a specific true story. Yeah, it's a lot of true stories like that, unfortunately. But anyway, guys, all right, that's enough. So. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Uh, please, please do that. That helps the channel. And that's it. So, Ren, Tail, Jenny, and Screech. All right. So, thanks to God as always. Um, blessings on you guys. Just be careful out there. Stay safe. Love you guys. That's it. I'm gone. Mm -hmm.